Hey guys, John Zombro back with part two of the basic principles for making your body last a lifetime. Let's consider a few more items that can help you to 10x your results in health and fitness. Your personal wellness practice should be a flexible system that accommodates the many natural variations that occur in life. Just like the days, the seasons, plants, animals, and all things natural, we human beasts tend to do best when we eat, train, and live in response to our environments and situations. Make your lifestyle an art form, not a rigid doctrine. Practice moderate consistency. Try for the highest levels of performance in all five components of the lifetime body, but rest assured that you may not and probably cannot always be perfect. And to get the results you need, you never have to be perfect anyway. Amazingly, doing most of your stuff most of the time turns out to be the best recipe for long-term success and sustainability with much less risk of burnout or dropout. No self-loathing allowed. You are an incredible, spectacular human. Never beat yourself up. Do your best at all times and dedicate yourself to your goals, but make peace with where you are right now. Love yourself. I'm not suggesting you become a narcissist, but you have to accept and appreciate that person in the mirror. You can't be much for anybody else until you get right with yourself. Avoid 3D thinking. Delusion, denial, and addiction will get you nowhere. Delusional views can lead to the denial of reality and addiction to an unhealthy pattern. Whether we're talking about sugar, alcohol, tobacco, or exercise, be careful not to practice this form of thinking. Don't take yourself too seriously. Enough said. Enjoy life. Don't make your wellness practice a punishment. Smile, laugh, and savor this journey. Healthy living is and should be a celebration. And finally, no doc bashing allowed. Work with your physicians and do your part in the process of healthcare. Our medical system needs a lot of improvement. And that starts with patients and consumers managing more of their own wellness and then working strategically with healthcare providers. Before you blame your doctor for your health, make sure you are doing all that you can do to achieve ultimate wellness. Thanks for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed these foundational principles, which are force multipliers in the pursuit of wellness. I've emphasized these for over 30 years as I've coached my clients towards the attainment of their goals. If you'd like more tips on how you can make your body last a lifetime, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll do my best to keep the pearls of wellness wisdom coming your way.